All right, uh, now we have been to Body Fluid, uh, which is a saloon where you can do cryotherapy, you can do floating, and uh, infrared sauna, all kinds of good stuff, healthy stuff for recovery. After cry, I feel energized, uh, feel like a small rush, uh, a lot of uh, endorphins in your body, and uh, less painful than before the session. Now we did a cryo session to recover because we're gonna do two quick sessions today. Uh, the next one is just in a couple of hours, so I need to be ready for that one. So uh, yeah. What I love about Hermanson is his work ethic and his workload in the fight. I mean, throwing about 400, 500, almost 500 That's punches sick. in one fight. That's like a 125 pound fight. And on top of that, the reason why it's so effective is because he's always moving his head, he's always faking. So if he's not being offensive with his punches, his kicks, then he's being offensive with his defense. He's faking you, he's always setting the next offense up. So he's never taking a break and just staring at you. If you're seeing a lot of these guys, they're always loaded on their feet and they're plotting. Hermanson's in and out, faking different looks, always different angles, switching stance, kicks, knees, elbows, spin attacks, and the way that he throws his punches and everything else really offsets people. I just, it's going to be fun to see what he can do. Well, to that end, right from off the radar to firmly in the middle of this middleweight pack of contenders for Jack Hermanson. If you ever in your life get the jump on Jacare Souza, ever, in a grappling match, in an MMA fight, whatever the circumstances, if you get your hand raised, in combat, one-on-one, -on -one, over Jacare. It's an incredible feat. And not very many men are alive today who have ever done it. I feel like my life is just the same as before. Uh, same routine, same things I do. Still based from Oslo, still training every day and uh, my eyes uh, is on that goal so uh, nothing has changed maybe a little bit more attention maybe i'm in a better spot now to really get uh, the big fights but in the whole uh, it's, nothing has uh, changed All right, uh, we're done with the last uh, training of today. It was a quick pad session with Coach Mosin Bahari, and uh, yeah, we went through some uh, technical and tactical aspects uh, of the game. And uh, now it's just pure recovery because it's going to be a hard session tomorrow morning. Oh, so, we're going to work for Bahari, please. Oh, English guy. Okay, sure.